guys, happy birthday to me. Yes, it's Monday, and I'm still honoring my commitment to blog every day for 60 days, every single day, and hope. I mean, I, I did say that there would be times I couldn't shoot a video, but if I can, I will shoot a video every single day. Um, and it's my birthday, and I'm still shooting a vlog. And no, I didn't cut my hair, but I did get it done today. You can tell. It went back a little darker. And I'm not gonna lie to you today, I swear to God. So I turned 43 today, I almost said 42. I'm not trying to be one of those people that lies about my age, but um, I had my first gray hair today. I'm not even lying. I'm getting ready to go. And granted, usually you guys see me, my hair's <clears throat> in like workout style. It's back in a ponytail and a headband. So I took my, oh, well I was, you know, actually doing my hair because we went out to lunch today. And um, my bangs were like down to here. So I was like curling them, putting to the side and I'm like, what is that? Right there, there was like one big gray hair. And I was like, seriously? I mean, it's no big deal. People have been telling me, a lot of my friends have had gray hair since like 30. I've never had it until now, but what are you gonna do? I'm just not gonna be one of those people. It's gonna be like, oh, this is my natural hair. And these are my natural nails. I mean, there's some of me that's real for the moment. Right now my hair is somewhat real. My nails are not real. My boobs are real. But I believe that this is the year that they will become fake. Because as many of you know, I fully intend to have robo boobs. That's what I want. I don't care. That's what I want. And what Kelly wants, Kelly will get. How's it going? Here's the thing. So proud of myself in general, for what I've done for the past, what, has it been two weeks since I've been back? I think two weeks. Let's just look at my calendar so I can just see what I'm talking about. Um, so, because I really started this like the weekend, when did I start? Um, I got back from Austin on the 16th. I have to look at my blog to see if that's when I started, because I think I did. It's probably been about two weeks. Um, I think I started the 17th, which means it's been really two, almost two and a half weeks. Mr. Flow, there you go. Mr. Flow, why do I look less dark? I went tanning today. Um, anyway, so it's my birthday. I got up today, had my normal breakfast. I'm not going to work out today. Um, not that I don't want to, but it is, it's already 6.15, and um, I might be going out for some sushi in a little bit. And I had sushi for lunch today, I'm not going to lie. So, but here's the thing, you guys. Um, maybe in the past, and it's not that I'm saying you're bad if you do this. I'm just saying, like, this is how on, on focus I am and how, like, I'm on it and I'm going to do this. And I'm going to tell you in a minute how I'm taking it up another notch. Um, but, you know, when I went out for lunch today, we went to Shaw's Crab House, which if you live in um, Chicago, Shaw's Crab House is, like, a really, really nice seafood and... Uh, um, I don't want to say steak, I think they have steak, but it's more like a seafood, they've got crab, obviously. It's not Joe's Crab Shack, this is Shaw's Crab House. Um, so they have crab, they have oysters, they have amazingly fresh sushi, great martinis. And I so wanted to have a dirty martini today, but I'm like, what's the point of having a drink when you're just having a drink for lunch? Like, the only time that I drink is, is like, I'll drink on Friday. I will have a drink for my birthday. We're going out on Friday. But I just think it's stupid to, like, <laughs> have a drink just for lunch, it's just the way I roll. Like, I don't drink at home by myself. I have a full bar, I have all of this wine, and it's like, why would I just make it for myself? It's, anyway. Maybe I'm just a little sensitive to the whole alcoholism thing. For those of you that know my past, not me, but people that have been in my life, you know why. I'm kind of sensitive to that kind of stuff. Um, anyway, I also got this catalog today. And I'm gonna be doing some shopping at victoriasecret.com tonight, because I got a lot of gift cards from that for my birthday. Doesn't take much to please me. Um, I shouldn't say that with gifts. I probably shouldn't just say that either. Anyway, forget I said anything. Um, but, so I went out to Shaw's, and in the past, maybe I would look at a day like today and go, well, it's my birthday, you know, I'll get, you know, something really indulgent and I'll have a, a really, you know, fun meal or whatever. But to me, it's like, Food is not the goal, is food is not the like pleasure goal for me anymore. I don't feel like I'm in this like deny myself everything so I have to go when it's a cheat day or when it's whatever and get something to eat. I mean food has become more about 
fuel for me. I mean, sure, I enjoy sushi, and I had some amazing sushi today. Um, I had um, tuna. I did mostly sashimi. I did tuna and salmon, and then I had um, a spicy tuna roll. And I didn't have any of the bread that they brought out. And then, of course, they ordered me a piece of, like, incredibly decadent chocolate cake, um, like a really rich, beautiful chocolate cake um, with a candle, and I blew out the candle, and I, I had one bite. I had one bite of chocolate cake. First of all, it would have been really rude if they surprised me with a piece of chocolate cake to go, oh, I can't have it. <laughs> they didn't have any, but I had one bite, and then I let, um, I let, my, um, I let my sister take the cake home for um, her kids. So I felt really good about it, and now I am going to I'm either going out to meet my friend for sushi, or if, if we don't end up going out tonight, then I'm going to heat up my grilled vegetables from yesterday and have a salad with tilapia. And I took that huge, huge ass piece of salmon that I got from yesterday, remember? And it was like a surfboard. I cut it into like, I didn't even know I could do this. I'm warning you, there's an epic airhead moment coming up. I called my mom and I'm like, I have all of this salmon that I bought. Can you and dad come over for dinner? And she's like, why don't you just freeze it? And I'm like, I can freeze it? Won't it be gross? And she's like, Kelly, cut it up in individual portions and freeze it. And I was like, huh. I had no idea. I'm sure I knew somewhere that I could do that. I just never really considered doing that before. So I cut it up into six ounce portions and now I have that in my freezer. So I have my tilapia that's cooked and I have my salmon that's ready with individualized portions. You learn something every day. There's things like that that just don't occur to me naturally, but I always say, I embrace my airhead moments because they balance out my incredibly brilliant moments. Okay? She trimmed a little bit of my hair, so I feel like it's a little shorter right now. And always, you know, the day after I, well, she did it this afternoon. But whenever I get home, you know how your hair always looks really awesome while you're there at the salon, and then you get home and, like, the winds been blowing around in it, and I went tanning on the way home, and now I'm like... You're not, when you don't do your own hair, it always is gonna, gonna look different in some way, so we're not gonna talk about it. But I'm going to let you guys go. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my birthday. And I have eaten nothing bad. Oh, and then here's the thing. So here's how I'm taking things up a notch. So not only have I done the first two weeks and kicked ass, um, but you know, the closer I get to my goal, the more determined I am. And I also have some opportunities I can't share what they are yet, but some opportunities that have made it very worth my while to reach my goal sooner rather than later. <laughs> and I also, calm down, wish them happiness, Kelly. Some of you know exactly what just made me stall for a moment. Um, <laughs> anyway, so um, I am going to be going on a new diet plan. Um, not necessarily new, but more just structured because I guess um, what I'm starting to see right now is, I think to some degree with my goals that I have for muscle building, um, wanting to lose, you know, wanting to reach my fat loss goal, which is about 20 pounds, and also wanting to build muscle, um, I have to make sure I'm eating to fuel my workouts and eating right. And one of the things, although I'm eating really good food, I've eliminated so much. It's not necessarily like, oh, I'm eating good because I'm eliminating food groups. That's not my point. I'm just saying, I'm eliminating dairy. Um, it's making me feel better to eliminate dairy. And I've just gotten really good at what I'm eating. But I still think to a large degree that I'm probably at my phase. And this might sound funny to some of you that are newer to this. I do believe I'm probably not eating enough. And that can be just as negative when you've been stuck at a plateau to not eat enough and be working out than it is to overeat. I know I'm not overeating. Um, but there's something that I want to make sure that I'm on a program. So actually, um, Corey is going to analyze. I've set up exactly kind of like a program, not a program, um, a write-up of what I've been tending to eat, and then we're going to analyze, you know, what my goals are, measure everything, and that's how I'm going to be taking it up a notch. So I'm going to be on a specific, here's what I eat every day. And then I know it's like spot on. And at the end of every week, um, we're going to evaluate my progress and, and measure everything and weigh and so on. And that's all there is to it. Like, I'm on it. I'm ready to do it. And honestly, at this point, nothing frightens me. I'm not, like I told you, my whole mindset about food and everything has changed. It's just, I think everything just fell into place. And it's all freaking good. It's weird because if I stand like this, 
I remember a long time ago I met somebody. See how my hair is and it's blending in with my tank top? I remember when I first started vlogging and I had my longer hair, but it was more like blonde back then. And I met these two gentlemen at a conference in New York. <laughs> I met the one guy, and he comes over, and they were talking about my videos, and he said to his partner, he said, Oh, it's Kelly Alexa. She's the one that vlogs, and it looks like she has no clothes on. And it was because my hair would always cover up my tank top, and whatever tank top I was wearing. So for some reason, they thought I was standing here with no clothes on. But I realized, like, if I stood like this, somebody could actually think that I was... <laughs> like, I'd stand in my kitchen. Who knows? I could pretend to do a naked vlog. I'm going to get all kinds of weird requests after I pu publish this one. But anyway, you guys have a great night. I'm off to go have some sushi, and I will see you tomorrow. Happy birthday to me, and thank you so much for all of your emails. You guys are awesome.